Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazendary here. And today in this video, I have for you my entire off-white collection. I'm really excited to get into this today because you guys have been requesting it for a very long time. And this is sponsored by Squarespace. So Squarespace, thank you for the sponsor. Let's get into my off-white collection. So Virgil Abloh, creator of Off-White, he's actually done a lot of stuff outside of his own brand Off-White. And we're not going to touch a lot of that stuff because I might have a different video talking about Virgil. But for right now, we're just sticking with Off-White. I'm going to go in random order between clothes, shoes, accessories. So let's get started. Probably one of my favorite pickups ever from the brand. Right here, I have the Off-White Air Force One. This is one of my favorite sneakers for a couple reasons. The first being that, well, it is an Air Force, and that means that anything that happens to an Air Force, I'm going to own it. I love collabs. I love the Air Force model itself, the Beaverton stamp, the off-white detailing, just like the rough, rigid feel of an off-white sneaker. And another, another really cool thing I like is the fact that when you step your foot in, it's got additional padding around the sides and on the insole where it says the 10 you really can tell it's just a different kind of quality sneaker. And we got a red tag, one of my favorites for sure. Another pickup right here is the off-white shorts, how it says mirror, mirror on the back. These are a mesh kind of material, and I've worn these a good bit. You know, they doubled as like the greatest shorts of all time. I could go to the ocean in them. I could chill at home, lounge around, whatever the occasion. These were my go-to shorts, and they probably still will be until I find a similar pair of basketball shorts. Another off-white shirt right here is the Nike off-campus tee with the drawn-on logo. Very simple white t-shirt, nothing really too special about it. Another off-white t-shirt right here. This one says white on the bottom, white graphic on the back. And the collection this time is the blue collar. Probably got it on sale sometime in 2018. Another sneaker that Virgil put his Nike touch on was the off-white Presto. Now something that I really like about this sneaker is the amount of times it is released. I've actually gotten lucky and I was able to get the black and white pair for retail, which was a really cool thing to do. The 10 on the inside, when he did the original 10, this was a different color, different model kind of. It also released in a white colorway as well. This time we have the same detailing, just white and mine are really trash. Like they look honestly pretty hideous and I've worn them a bunch. One of my favorite go-tos of last year and the year before that. I'm probably going to give them a rest this year in 2020 because we got new things to wear. Next up, we have an off-white long sleeve with the Statue of Liberty prominent right on the front of it. As you know, I'm from New York, so I love having pieces like this in my collection with the torch on the back. The arm even has a print that says, I lift my lamp beside the golden door. It's kind of hard to read, but it actually just says it right here on this little paragraph, which is on the shirt. Let's move on to the next item. So uh, you guys really seem to like my little hack that I did on TikTok when I did my off-white belt and the way that I wore it. You guys can follow me on TikTok at Blazendary. But basically, guys, I just wear this in a similar way every time. But this belt comes in a variety of different colorways. This was just the first one that I had got, and I truly like the detail, the metal clasp, and the fact that if I need an off-white long belt, well, I have one. Next up right here, I have a Nike off-campus collab this one like the t-shirt same collection but this is coming from london and i actually got this in germany in 2018 when i went to a sneaker con but basically we got a couple different things in this pencil pouch we have a nike and off-white permanent marker sharpie pen pencil that says graphite on it the thing that sticks out the most is the measure ruler another part of this collection that i found really interesting was this notebook and it's not very common for Nike to like drop promotional products like this. So getting it and owning it, keeping it preserved in the nice condition is something I'd like to do for a little while. 2017 on the notebook as well. Right here we have the Off-White Air Max, another cool model for the Off-White. However, I think these look really similar to a lot of the stuff that came out at the same exact time as these. So I can't really say that I wear them too often. I maybe worn them once or twice, but they're in great condition and of course, they have the double padding, which I mean is really underrated. I feel like when you're buying an off-white, a lot of people don't talk about how comfortable they are. 
I especially like too the fact that mine are sneaker con legit tag. Right here we have the sweatpants, just says off white on it with some zippers, the off white super large metal key rings. Uh, we have the crosses down in the back, but that's really it. Just a heavy, nice, durable sweatpant. I recommend if you find them for a good price, pick them up because I got mine pre-owned. Right here, this is a piece. It was in the men's department, which I found a little misleading when I put it on. It was very crop topped when I got home and there was like a missing back part. You guys can kind of see where the fabric kind of stops. It's very interesting and unique, but it looks great on her. So I figured I'd give it to her. Another item that I wear from Off-White all the time are these cargo pants. I got them in one of my challenge videos at Neiman Marcus, and I'm glad that I got them in that challenge video because <laughs> I wear them a lot, don't I, Val? Yeah, you wear them for your, one of your go-tos. The zippers, the deep pockets, the cargo pants, the fact that it looks like a different kind of style of pant, definitely one of my favorites for sure. Another pair of sneakers. I love this pair right here. This is the off-white Zoom Flies. However, they didn't really fit me. They're see-through, they're cool, but I tried them on and for whatever reason, a eight and a half is not really an eight and a half. I needed like a 10 in these if I wanted to wear them. So I gave them the Val and they fit her great. Another piece of off-white that I wear and I got from a challenge video is this off-white Champion crew neck. What I do like about it are the metal aglets that are featured on the front and I also like the sides and how it's kind of like double textured, if you could see, it's like it was printed once and then printed again. Kind of like a pistachio color. So this guys, I definitely want to talk about right here because uh, a couple months back, I bought literally a ton of pairs of these off-white Timberlands right here. I got them at a great price and this is a size 13. It's my only one left and I've actually been selling them on my website. I custom built my website, squarespace.com slash blazendary. You guys can sign up, free trial for two weeks and an additional 10% off, which is a big deal. And my favorite part about my Squarespace site is the fact that I can sell my products on there. It's a really easy to use e-commerce system and I'm going to be listing these for sale. I'll show you how to do it, it's so simple. You take your product, you put it in the inventory manager, which is an excellent way to organize your inventory fill in some information about the sneaker or whatever product it is, and you're done. Just like that, you could get started selling on Squarespace. Be sure to DM me on Instagram or email me, whatever you want, your custom website. I wanna see it, and maybe I'll give you some tips on how you can improve the look. Use my link in the description below. The off-white Tims that I decided to keep for myself were the wheat colorway, and I really like this pair because I've worn them a bunch. It is that standard classic Timberland look but it does have that special suede texture on it, that off-white touch, especially on the heel with the symbol. I would say very overpriced. I got all of them on sale, so I was happy just to keep one of them. We have right here a zip up in a purple and teal gradient. My favorite colors, I got this when I was in Europe at the off-white store. I don't know if it was actually the off-white store, it was just a store that was selling off-white. 2019 is the date on this piece right here. Very cool, happy I own it. Up next, one of my favorite pieces, just cause I said the Air Force is one of my favorites with the teal off white tag. Mine are sneaker con legit tag. And I even put in the white laces just for fun, just to kind of give mine a little bit of a spicier look. This collection, owning at least one of them is definitely something you're gonna wanna do because in the future, I don't think they're gonna remake these. And if they retro these, that'd be crazy to say you own the originals. Next up, we got some off-white socks. I don't give these much love because in all honesty, they're very uncomfortable and you should not buy off-white socks just because they're very uncomfortable. So don't waste your money like I did and buy off-white socks. This one is a flannel, but it also doubles as a little bit of a zip-up flannel, you know, cause you zip it up first and then you do the buttons. It is really cool and it has a blue and yellow plaid, which is very limiting on what you can wear with it. But when I do bust this out, I'm telling you my outfits are always fire. I've given this a ton of love. I'm gonna put it away. Probably bring it out again in 2021, if I'm being honest. Next up, we have an off-white Vapor Max. This one is a very clean sneaker just because I don't wear them because I think the Vapor Max is not a comfortable sneaker. However, with the detail on it, the 10, it is still a dope pair to have in the collection. I do want to complete the 10 collection at some point, and having this was a good way to add a Vapor Max into the rotation. Red tag on this pair, and uh, blue bottoms. Next up, we have an off-white blazer with the teal tag on it. The Grim Reapers, these are a sick, sick pair. They also released alongside the Hollow's Eve. I actually sold my pair of Hollow's Eves 
because I wasn't a huge fan of them. And this pair I'm going to go ahead and keep because I would wear these all the time. I have worn them a bunch, so I'm going to put them to rest for just a little bit. And maybe I'll break them back out in the summer or something like that. Next up, we got an off-white denim jacket. This one I don't give that much love in my collection just because I don't wear denim jackets a whole lot in the first place. I'm also not a big fan of how this jacket is particularly cut. It just seems a little odd to me. Maybe I'll even sell it on my Squarespace site. You guys have seen these a bunch, so I'll be quick. Off-White Fives, got them before release. They're coming out All-Star Weekend. Very cool sneaker, and definitely another sneaker I'm gonna have to double up on when they come out officially. An Off-White Dunk, you guys saw this recently too in a SneakerCon mystery box video where we unboxed and found that these were my size. SneakerCon legit, of course, with the orange, navy, and gold on this sneaker. It's definitely unique, something new that Nike hasn't done in a while, especially with the revival of dunks like Travis Scott and others wearing. Dunks a whole bunch, they're certainly coming back, and it was smart of them to release a pair of dunks together. Very cool, gotta say, this is my favorite colorway of them. Next up, we have another off-white denim. This time, it's something that I do wear all the time because these are jeans, and I love to wear jeans. We also have the temperature stamp on the back of these jeans and a little bit of like a cutout part where the ankle is. It's kind of a unique, interesting look, but the wash, the light blue, a fantastic wash. It can go with a lot of stuff. Definitely give this piece a ton of wear. These right here are the off-white pythons. I got these as a gift from the shoe surgeon. Now this is not an official off-white collab, of course, but you can tell it's just definitely looking like the off-white Chicago's. This is made of Python material and they definitely retailed for way more than the Chicago's did just because it is a custom pair of sneakers. It was a really nice gift. Thank you to the shoe surgeon for them. We can't leave out my off-white rugs. You guys know about that one, my gray one. It's been in a bunch of videos. I even got it early. And then we also have my other off-white rug in my bedroom, the still loading colorway. Really cool. There's a couple other rugs, but none of them are really as cool as the ones I feel like I have. We also have the wet grass rug that I'm sitting on right now, but that is not an off-white collab, so I can't really say that that is an off-white collab. But the last thing that is an off-white collab, man, my favorites. These right here are the Air Jordan 1 European off-white release. This is literally called the European like colorway uh, just because it only came out in Europe. Something really cool about this sneaker is the purple detail is my favorite color. So that is obviously going to make these like my top number one Air Jordan of all time probably. These are just such a nice clean colorway, white. I love white sneakers and they go well with just about any outfit and they're a neck breaker. People know what they are. Thankfully I got mine at a sneaker con and I got them legit checked. That is my off-white collection. Let me know what you want to see in the future. I had a ton of fun making this video. Maybe you guys can have a suggestion for me down below in the comments on what we should do next. It's your boy Blazendary signing out. Stay positive, and I'll be live on Twitch later because it's Saturday, so just kind of follow my channel, see if you're interested in that kind of stuff. That being said, it's Blazendary out. Stay positive. Peace out.